Hi there, this is Joshua again. Welcome to the M365 TV YouTube channel. On today's agenda, we would be looking at what Microsoft 365 plans and subscriptions are. And then without wasting much time, let's look at the available 365 plans. In one of the tutorials I, I made, I explained the difference between Microsoft 365 and then Office and then Office 365. So we still have some Office 365 plans that are available, such as the Office 365 E1, Office 365 E3, Office 365 E5. So E3 contains everything in Office 365 E1 with additional services. And then Office 365 E5 contains everything in E1, Office 365 E3 with additional services then we also have what we call the microsoft 365 apps for enterprise so before i continue previous slide i spoke about the three subscription plans right so what you should know is that for the monthly commitment payment and then the annual commitment monthly pay the the types of subscriptions types of services or solutions that are available to such payments are microsoft 365 business basic business standard and then business premium then for the annual commitment annual payment um the kind of services you can get yeah subscriptions you can get there is um the enterprise solutions like the office 365 enterprise or the microsoft 365 enterprise or the the microsoft 365 apps for business enterprise so just a quick recap on that so um the next Thing we'll be looking at here is the Microsoft 365 plans. We have Microsoft 365 plans for home, for business, and then for enterprise. And for Microsoft 365 home, we have Microsoft 365 family, we have Microsoft 365 personal, we have Office Home and Student 2021, we have Office Home and Business 2021. Yeah. And then for Microsoft 365 plans for business, we have Microsoft 365 apps for business. We have Microsoft 365 Business Basic. We have Microsoft 365 Business Standard. We have Microsoft 365 Business Premium. And then for the enterprise plans, we have the Microsoft 365 apps for enterprise. We have the Microsoft 365 E3, which is different from Office 365 E3. We have the Microsoft 365 E5, and then we have the Microsoft 365 E3. We will discuss more on these different Microsoft 365 plans in the next couple of slides. So let's look at the Microsoft 365 personal and family plan. So for the Microsoft 365 family plan, it's best suited for two to six persons. One subscription can be used for two to six persons. That is one to six persons or people can share one subscription. That is the Microsoft 365 family subscription which is at 99.9 dollars .9. and then um you have storage one drive storage up to six terabyte and then each person can install this microsoft 365 family on up to five devices and then for the microsoft 365 personal this is just for one person so you can see the difference between the family and personal is one which is the personal is for one person and then for the family is from one to six person so and then for the microsoft 365 personal you you can also install this service or this solution on up to five devices simultaneously however you have just um, a cloud storage of one terabyte and then you can either pay monthly or pay yearly and then for the microsoft 365 um, business plans we have the microsoft 365 business basic we have the microsoft 365 business standard we have the microsoft 365 business premium and then we have the microsoft 365 apps for business so the difference here is that microsoft 365 business basic is only available on the web you can only open or use these services these solutions on the web and then you have one terabyte of cloud storage per user but for the microsoft 365 business standard it gives you access to the desktop versions of microsoft 365 services solutions like 
Outlook, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Teams, and the likes. So Microsoft 365 Business Standard contains everything in Microsoft 365 Business Basic plus the desktop versions of apps and services. Then Microsoft 365 Business Premium contains everything in Microsoft 365 Business Standard with additional services such as device management and then cyber threat protection and then controlled access to company data so that's all those are the differences between business basic business standard and then business premium and then you can see the apps and services that are available to each of these subscription type at the bottom here right and then we have an addition here which is microsoft 365 apps for business so this gives you access to only the apps desktop applications of outlook word excel powerpoint onedrive publisher and access these are the apps and services that you can have access to when and if you purchase microsoft 365 apps for business um a better view of the apps and services for each of the microsoft 365 business plans yeah so the first one is business basic second one is business standard third one is business premium and the last one is apps for business so we also have what we call the microsoft 365 enterprise plans so uh, in one of my videos i explained the difference between business and enterprise so in a simple term i would say business is for small medium scale businesses by the enterprise plans are for enterprise or large scale businesses basically so for the enterprise plans we have microsoft 365 e3 e5 and f3 so and as you can see they both vary in prices so for the for the enterprise plans for e3 it's 36 dollars per user per month that's when you subscribe to annual commitment monthly pay so basically what you get is in best class productivity applications combined with core security and compliance capabilities for your enterprise or for your enterprise i would say is a combination of microsoft 365 business premium with additional security layers services for your enterprise organization basically for the e5 it's a combination of everything in microsoft 365 e3 and then it also includes advanced security compliance voice and analytical capabilities for your enterprise so it's microsoft 365 e5 is everything in microsoft 365 e3 plus additions such as advanced security compliance voice and analytical capabilities for your organization however for the microsoft 365 f3 basically what it does is it empowers your frontline workforce with productivity apps cloud services that allow them to do their work best so you have frontline workers working in the fields in different sectors and then you are able to communicate with them seamlessly via call via voice via video via document sharing collaborating on document and, and the likes that's about the microsoft 365 enterprise plans so for the frontline plans we have the microsoft 365 f1 f3 and then office 365 f3 so for the f1 it helps to protect and secure the organization and then a Keep your frontline workforce with powerful communication, collaboration, and productivity experiences. The Microsoft 365 F3, it contains what's in F1, plus it also transforms your business with customized apps. You can have apps to track maybe your riders, to track your hourly or daily activities of your frontline workers, basically, just to log in timesheet, per hour, or per day, based on their task. Office 365 F3 basically gets mobile apps, use one platform for teamwork with Microsoft Teams, connect, stay together using business class email. So Office 365 F3 is one of the Office 365 subscriptions that are still available basically that has not been deprecated like we saw in Office 365 E3 and E5. So this is the one for frontline plans. These are the apps and services available 
to boot Microsoft 365 F1, Microsoft 365 F3, and Office 365 F3. So for Microsoft 365 F1, you have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Bookings, Planner, Streams, Viva. For Microsoft 365 F3, you have Additions of Outlook, you have Sway, you have Visio, you have Power Apps. Like I said, you can use great apps, automation, forms, publisher, and the likes. Then for the Office 365 F3, it contains everything in Microsoft 365 F1 and some things in Microsoft 365 F3. However, things like Power Virtual Agent and Windows are not included in the Office 365 F3. We also have the Microsoft 365 Education Plan, which are listed under the Microsoft 365 Home. So we have the Microsoft 365 A1, we have Microsoft 365 A3, and we have Microsoft 365 A5. So for A1, it's a simple one-time per device learning solution for modern workloads. So it's a single solution per device. However, for A3, this is for institution that need all the features in A1 plus desktop applications, fan security and analytics. I would say A1 is the Microsoft 365 business basic on the business side. A3 is the business standard. So A1 contains just a one-time um, device learning solution per device. However, A3 contains everything in A1 plus desktop applications and additional advanced security. And then A5 contains everything in A3 plus streamlined licensing, security and management tools. So A3 subscription among the Microsoft 365 education plans. Here we have the Office 365 Government G1, we have the Office 365 Government G3, we have the Office 365 Government G5. So for G1, Office applications are not included. You only have Exchange, you only have OneDrive, Sway, and Teams. However, for G3, you have Office applications such as Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Publisher, Access, plus the services that are included in G1. And then for G5, all the features of G3 plus unified communications such as with Skype, advanced e-discovery, predictive coding, text analytics, Office 365 advanced threat, personal and organizational analytics, PSTN conferencing, and other services. G5 is a combination of G3 with other advanced features. So for for the education plan, you can see I made a mistake here. So it's supposed to be government plan. You can see the Microsoft 365 G. G3, government G3 and then G5 so you can see some things some services that are partially included and then those that are fully included so for G3 video voice and meetings are partially included for G3 government G3 however it's fully included in G5 and then other things like identity and access management so now we also have what we call the Microsoft 365 non-profit plans. Yeah? We have the Microsoft 365 Business Basic non-profit staff pricing. We have Microsoft 365 Business Standard non-profit pricing. We also have the Microsoft 365 Business Premium non-profit staff pricing. So for the Business Basic, it's free for up to 300 users. For the the business standard it's it's not up to that for the business premium you have grants free up to 10 users the difference between business basic business standard and business premium are the services that are included in these plans in these subscriptions business standard contains everything in business basic while business premium contains everything in business standard plus additional services and um, apps thank you very much for listening please do not forget to like the video and then subscribe to the channel thank you cheers bye bye